And then this week's Sweet Patina built for drag and drive. You know, those guys over there, they they believe things are they should be driven. That's why they built the the 57 wagon that we'll show at the end of this. And they gave us a discount code. You yep. know what I mean? They, they, they want to take care of racers. We appreciate that. We're thankful they jumped on board. Back in 2022, like June of 2022, they came on board as our first sponsor. We appreciate them doing that. But guys, not only do they sponsor the segment, sorry, let me get back down here to my notes. Not only do they sponsor the segment, I mean, they they attend races. They they do all that stuff. They go to events. They drive 20,000 miles a year in a cool old car. I mean, that's that's the way it's supposed to do. So D&D 57 for your discount codes. They are not shipping orders they are taking orders but they're not shipping orders until tuesday but guys i'm telling you those guys are going to be busy so get your order in early you can see they've got banners they've got decals they've got license plates they've got shirts but man they've got a whole army of products that help keep your car i don't know they can take old paint and make it look way better they can help you know they've got like an undercoating stuff for your frame i mean there's a lot of stuff that's there that we don't ever even talk about i think they have like 300 items on their products page or something crazy yeah. like that. So that sounds about pretty, right. Pretty wild, but I, I do have their favorite product right, right here next to me. The TKO hand cleaning wipes guys, this right here, th these are the bees knees, man. I'm telling you, uh, I'm not going anywhere without that tub or the little single individual packs, which are great. You can pick up a 10 pack, throw them in the, in the toolbox and have them anywhere you want to go. And that would probably last you for most of the, most of a drag week. Yeah, or, or a drag and drive event. Well, guys, this week's feature is our boy, like we said earlier, Dan Jackson, the man that uh, started his drag and drive career back in uh, with Miles of Mayhem in 2022. Co-pilot Cody Nutson is what I'm going to say <laughs> is his last name. And uh, th they took it in, man. They ran a best of a 5057 on day one last year. And he posted on Facebook that, uh, that Cody killed it getting the race car ready all week and it performed well. I underestimated the heat and missed some fine details on street cooling and it finally caught up to us um, on the last night. This is them getting loaded up on the on the uh, hauler rollback. there. Yeah, rollback to get to be and run back to the track. They end up sleeping in the seats that night and Cody basically said, uh, I wish they were, that Dan would put a better seat in the passenger side if we're going to have to sleep in that car again. <laughs> thought that was pretty funny um uh colin g said that dan was going through water at a rate that he could he just couldn't continue so whatever happened there i've i've got messages out to dan trying to find out some stories but he's not on facebook very often based on his posting so we'll see he'll he'll reply back and i'll have some updates to that later but uh if you fast forward a few months well i guess april of 2023 so Miles of Mayhem is typically in June, uh, June or July. And so they'll come, you know, April's almost a year later. Dan posted a video thanking Rich Guido and Ted Miko or Miko for catching potential problems as they fired it up. The car sounded freaking awesome. So if you haven't uh, done that, you need to go find Dan Jackson on Facebook and, uh, and listen to that video. He said it had been on the Jack stands way, way too long in his post. So, uh, Worked well. He reset the small tire class ET record at Miles of Mayhem. Had two four-second passes like we talked about. Um, a 4.829 was his fastest of the week on day one. And then a 4.9 something on the last day of the week. And then three five-second passes throughout the event. So pretty cool. Ended up finishing with a 5.1608 average for Miles of Mayhem. Again, that's an eighth-mile event. So, of course, that kind of led me down the rabbit hole of who to talk to next. Colin had suggested that I reach out to Steve Gronink, who has the super cool little Toyota Corolla, the blue car with the huge, uh, you know, uh, uh, intake out the hood and all that kind of stuff. Big turbo car runs like sixes. Insane. So he said that he had a little bit of information on the car. He said he's pretty sure it's still a 427 dry sump with a concept performance LSR block, all pro heads. He thinks it's a 94 or 98 millimeter uh, Garrett G57 turbo. So pretty cool. I mean, it's huge power for that car and then nine inch out back and a power glide. So, you know, I think that's like the, uh, I think that's the, the recipe for going fast Fox body, 98 millimeter turbo, you know, 427. Big, yeah. Nine <laughs> that's inch. The word. Power glide. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the car's been, you know, four eight twenty nine. So and that's in drag and drive trim. So you can only imagine what it, I mean. Surely that car's got 
low seventies in it, something like that, you know, with a fully gutted, all, all it can do set up. But Steve said that he believes the car has a lot of room to grow, but the struggle in Canada is the track prep. Mm. So for radial tires. So, uh, Steve and I actually talked for about an hour after that, uh, just in messenger that Steve has now gone to a, a slick on his car instead of the radials trying to, trying to go that much faster. So we'll see if Dan does that. I hope Dan comes back for 2024 and, uh, I hope we hear back from him. I mean, I know, you know him and I are friends on Facebook, but you know, I don't think we've ever had any, cross paths where you know maybe he doesn't see facebook messenger i don't know we'll see but yeah. i was really late on writing this so uh, i messaged him last night so we'll see what happens i'll keep you guys updated on that but this car definitely has the opportunity to to make a run at defending the title these are some pictures that i grabbed from miles of mayhem facebook page dan's facebook page i was doing all kinds of searching that's probably the hardest part and then photos by sw I want to say thanks to them for putting, for taking the pictures of Miles of Mayhem that they did. The editing on those was amazing, and uh, th these are really cool. This shot here is probably my favorite, though, with the air filter out front. <laughs> kind of gives you an idea of the placement of the turbo on this right. thing. And then, uh, yeah, th this shot here is definitely my favorite. But thank you to them for posting that up. That that really helps us on our end. That's so, anyways, thank you to them for taking those. And guys. Thanks again to Sweet Patina for being such a huge supporter of ours. We really appreciate them. And obviously the, the shirt in the top left corner for the folks that aren't listening or that are listening on the podcast, it's a, it says go fast parts before paint 100% of our, uh, that's my, that's what I live. That's my lifestyle <laughs> right there. So pretty cool stuff. Um, thank you again to Sweet Patina guys. If you haven't done it yet, sweetpatina.com 10% off when you use code D and D 57, or you can throw the, items they sell a lot of their stuff through summit racing one of our other big supporters you don't get the discount but it's a, maybe easier for you to throw their products in your in your cart as you're ordering stuff you know like your drag and drive addiction apparel and merch and things like that so 